In today's video, we will teach you how to install and remove your GPU or graphics card from your computer. But before we get the video started, though, you guys, note we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There'll be a link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there for right now. Let's teach you how to do this. Before we do anything else, make sure to turn off your PC and then also unplug it and make sure to turn off the power supply by pushing the switch in. And once you have done that, you can then take off your side panel to your PC. But before getting anywhere else, make sure that if you have one, wear an anti-static bracelet or that you can touch the actual PC case, which are actually grounded. So that way you won't cause a static discharge to your PC components. So you might be wondering, how do you ground yourself with your PC case, you might be asking. Well, you see, actually, if you touch a metal part of your PC case, you will equalize the static charge on yourself and in the components you are working on. And that way, you don't have to wear an anti-static bracelet just by touching the case alone on a metal piece. You will be perfectly fine. If you want to use an anti-static bracelet, feel free to. If you feel more comfortable with that, I will link one down below if you want to go snag one. But not everyone actually has the ability to have an anti-static bracelet on hand. So yeah, just make sure to touch your case, metal part of it, of course, and then we can get started. So what you're going to do next is, of course, unplug the cable. You want to push the clip in on the cable on the GPU on both of them and pull both of them on out nice and carefully. And once you have done that, you don't want to indicate where your screws are for your GPUs. A good amount of GPUs are going to be two slot GPUs. So you just want to indicate the two slots you're going to unscrew, they'll unplug it and pull it on out. So, of course, what you can do is get your Phillips screwdriver like so. You want to get started on screwing. So, you want to take care of that next. After you have unscrewed both screws, make sure to find a home for them so they don't get lost because you do not want to lose them. Next, you want to move up the bracket on your case. Sometimes your case might have this, and it depends on the case, of course, though. Then, of course, after you've done that, look for the clip on the motherboard for your PCIe slot where your GPU is plugged in. Then what you want to do is pretty simple with this. You want to push this on in until you hear click. You'll hear a click when you push it all the way down you need to. Just be confident with this one. This is going to be one of those things where you're going to feel very stressed out when pulling it. So make sure to wait for it, plug it, push it down, hit a clip, and after that you get started on pulling it carefully. Just wiggle it lightly and then pull up lightly at the same time. This may take you some time if you're not confident about it. Just feel confident. All that matters. And you get this. You will hear an indication of it pop on out from the PCIe slot. So, yeah. Once you have heard that pop, you have know you uninstalled your GPU. Carefully maneuver around the cables to pull it on your case. And there you go. You have successfully uninstalled your GPU. Now we'll teach you how to reinstall it. You want to do the following is line your PCIe on the GPU back into the case on the motherboard, of course, and place it in there and maneuver it around the cable so that way you can get your PCIe slot in and then make sure it goes into the slots on the actual bracket area. Once you have gotten lined up and perfectly gone in there to the PCIe slot, make sure to add some light pressure and you should hear it click if you got it. Okay, now that we have our GPU plugged in the PCIe slot, you want to, of course, screw in screws onto the bracket and close the bracket to the GPU. That way it's secure. Then after that, you want to, of course, plug in your GPU cables. So that way it has power. And after that, you want to plug in your power supply, turn on your power supply, and plug an HDMI cable or display cable into your GPU to make sure it works and power it on up. I would recommend you leave the PC open with no uh, side panel so that way you can see if everything's working well and check for beep codes if your motherboard has beep codes, of course and that way once you press the button you should be all good to go you're going to give it a few seconds to boot on up and then if you've done this right you have installed your GPU perfectly fine no problems and you get a display output Congrats on installing or removing your GPU if you did even upgrade it. Good for you, man. You upgraded and got a new GPU out of this and installed it properly and everything's working fine now thanks to this tutorial. But um, yeah, if you double-checked everything and everything is working fine, you can, of course, check your task manager, 
to see if your GPU is installed, like I just did with you earlier here. I installed mine, reinstalled my 2080 Super, and it pops up on Task Manager, which is awesome. So I know I did the job right. Now, I recommend if you have Henvin's benchmark, you can run that to make sure everything's working well, or you can run User Benchmark and just make sure you keep an eye on your PC for the next hour or two. And then if everything is fine, you should have no more problems down the line here and just be able to game full power of your new GPU or old GPU, of course. But um, yeah, if you did enjoy this little PC guide, make sure to smash the like button, dragon punch the subscribe button, and check us on Twitch, of course. We do stream there every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And if you have any PC hardware questions for me, you want to drop by my Twitch, I'm more than free to answer them there. Until then, good luck on the PC grind and gaming grind. And of course, grant out.